Welcome to our weekly vlog episode six, where we take you behind the scenes at weddings, pre-weddings, and everything in the wedding world. This is what's on this week's episode. good if you watch it enjoy it hit the subscribe button let's go so today i am back at probably what is becoming my favorite pre-wedding destination in forby I'm back here for Robert and Lindsay's pre-wedding today. Looking forward to seeing the guys. This is going to be our first wedding at Beast of Manor this year. Absolutely cannot wait to get back and see the team. This is what happened. So I'm starting to be a little bit in love with this location now. And Roscoe as well. He was awesome. It gives you three or four completely different setups. So nice walkways, absolutely beautiful forest to shoot him really really nice and then not only that but you've got dunes and a beach uh, to come as well it's just such an awesome location Lindsay and Rob were superb they said they were nervous but I'm calling BS on that because they were absolutely awesome once they could start insulting each other through the couple of games that we play they were absolutely loving life and they were brilliant in front of the camera uh, you're actually gonna see here Rob uh, we start playing a, a, a game like pushing back and forth and Rob actually decks it, uh, which is amazing. I think he only did that because I nearly decked it in a hole in the wooded area. Which is really kind of him. Thanks, Rob. The weather wasn't as bright as it was uh, when we were here previously, um, which actually kind of worked in our favour because it was far less busy, far less people to edit in the background, which was lovely. Love these shots. Oh. So, no weddings this weekend, but we have two pre-weddings today. First with Roxy and Chris, and then with Emily and Josh later on. For the first one, we're at Brickcraft, which is actually right in the corner of my house, so that's nice. And then straight after that, we're heading to Word and Pack. Let's go. This was a weird weather day. I was expecting it to rain. It said in the forecast it might rain. It ended up being absolutely gorgeous uh, for Roxy and Chris's shoot. Like I said, it's around the corner from us, so we know the place well. Um, it's a really cool place to shoot. These guys were awesome on the shoot. Super chilled, really lovely couple. And then, guess which idiot went home to get changed into shorts and a shirt, only for it to absolutely batter it down for Emily and Josh's shoot in Wern Park. Uh, you can see on the on the camera lens there, on the GoPro, there's, there's water. And look on the lens of the camera, it's absolutely soaking wet. But these guys absolutely rocked it. They just cracked on with it uh, and we had an awesome time and the photographs are beautiful. You can actually see the rain dripping down there. Absolutely soaking wet when I got back, but we had a lot of fun. Good morning. We are here at the Rose Hill House Hotel in Burnley for a shoot with Little White Books. Have a look at the hotel. Gorgeous. The weather is, I don't know, it's rubbish today, uh, just as it was yesterday. But I've learned my lesson and I'm not wearing shorts today, I'm wearing pants, uh, which is much better. So uh, today we've got a couple of models and we've got a florist coming and we've been tasked with photographing those and then getting some shots of the actual venue itself. Um, so models are just having their makeup done now, or just starting to, uh, with Kerry Baker.
and I'm just going to go and grab the cameras and get a few detail shots. There's so many gorgeous little details in the hotel, doors, cornicing, the ceilings. It's just, it's really, really beautiful. So I'm going to go and catch all the details of those, wait until the girls are ready, wait until the florist has come and set the place up and then crack on with the main part of the shoot. So first things first was to set up to start shooting the decor on the tables for Peter Lockwood and the time for flowers who actually arranged that look at it absolutely stunning it's like a really cool art deco kind of feel um, all black and gold um, it looks absolutely amazing so I really wanted to show that off as best I could you can see the guys working on the actual next frame in the background there but while they were doing that I took the chance to take a few photographs of the table set up and then now the smaller details it's full of funky little details like seahorses and um, gorgeous little flowers um, the napkin holders are pretty cool too the plates as well were gorgeous and then once Peter had set his lights up we started shooting the models in front of the display. Uh, Amy and Kim, awesome as always. And then we moved a bit to the, the light there just to get decent light on both sides of the model there just to show off the hair piece. And then in front of like the stand, beautifully lit, gorgeous flowers on it. It's perfect for like ceremonies and stuff like that so they wanted to really show it off. Looks amazing. Hi, I'm Suze, the other half of 8th Avenue Photography. Sorry, just wanted to put that out there because this week's been the Ian show. Uh, he's very hard working and he's very good uh, but yes unfortunately i've been unable to work this week with him uh, but he's done a good job we'll, we'll give him top marks uh, but if you have enjoyed this week's episode please like subscribe share and tell everybody because uh, the more likes and everything really helps the youtube channel grow and we can get more content out there for you so until next week bye bye